Hey everybody. So today I thought we'd take a look at another one of these kind of a Lego knockoff brand uh, building set. It's another one of these Tensegrity sets. So um, when I, I mentioned in my other Tensegrity video that I, I kind of wanted to try one of these that they're like spaceship sets. So uh, this brand, I can't even pronounce that. <laughs> it's like, I can't even pronounce that word, but that's the brand that it is. So uh, on here you can see that we have kinds of all kinds of different uh, versions of this. So we have the uh, Millennium Falcon, which is the one that I'm going to build. And then we also have the uh, Y-Wing there. There is a X-Wing. It looks like Poe Dameron's uh, X-Wing. And then on this side, it looks like we have a, a TIE Fighter and an A-Wing and uh, looks like the Slave One. So yeah, they have all kinds of different versions of this. So uh, I thought I'd try the Millennium Falcon. So I found this on Amazon and um, I don't know, I thought I'd give this a shot. Uh, you know, some of these sets are not that great, but hopefully this one turns out okay. All right, so uh, let's take a look at the parts inside. Yeah, okay, so it looks like it comes with four bags of parts here. So, um, so these aren't numbered because I think uh, Lego's got some kind of a patent on numbering bags or labeling them in any kind of way, so these guys can't do that. These parts look exactly like Lego, but of course they're not Lego. They end up, I mean, you can tell because there's, there's no, uh, actually, it looks like this one here actually has the Lego logo on it. Hmm. Well, there's something on there. That's pretty interesting. I'll have to check that out. So anyway, uh, yeah, so four uh, bags of parts, and then we get the instructions, and they look very similar to kind of the way Lego does it where you're just putting all of this stuff together. And, uh, you know, the Millennium Falcon kind of looks like one of those microfighter Millennium Falcons. I don't know if it's going to be that big, but uh, it's kind of interesting. And then it also comes with this kind of supplemental page. So it looks like maybe there was a mistake made on the original instructions or something like that. They're telling you to replace some of the clear parts with gray pieces. So, yeah, we'll see what that looks like. And then also it comes with this extra bit of guns. Which I'm not sure why it comes with guns, because it's supposed to be the ship flying around in what looks like the Death Star, uh, you know, background or whatever. So, <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure why it came with these. You can clearly tell everything is molded directly off of Lego, though. All right, well, anyway, let's get this built, and we'll see how this turns out. Yeah, all right, well, it went together pretty decent. I'm actually kind of surprised. Um, you can definitely tell these are not Lego uh, pieces. They, they have a different feel to them. And they have a different feel when you're putting them together. Um, you know, Lego goes together really super smooth. These have kind of like a, I don't know, it's hard to describe. Uh, anybody who's built these sets using these um, knockoff brand things, uh, you'll know what I mean. But, you know, for being a knockoff brand, I gotta say it's actually not bad. Not bad at all. So, uh, this actually turned out pretty decent. And, yeah, it has that whole tensegrity thing. Um, you can see it kind of floating right there. It's kind of cool how it has that effect. So yeah, I'm actually uh, pleasantly surprised at how good this turned out. I <laughs> wasn't expecting maybe this good a quality. All right, so let's take some uh, close-ups of it. Okay, so starting with the Millennium Falcon itself. So um, yeah, this is very much like the Micro Fighter versions of the uh, Millennium Falcon. It's built quite similar to the way it looks and and I don't know, I, I, the whole time I was building it, that's what I was thinking, is that they kind of copied the, uh, mic the microfighter version of this. So it's got a few different details on it because the microfighters have a minifigure that sits over here. So they kind of had to fill in that detail. Actually, here, I got, I have one of the microfighters right here. So here is the official Lego. This one came out, I think, last year with Chewy. So um, you can actually see, let me get above here. You can actually see that uh, the... The knockoff brand is actually slightly bigger, which I was kind of surprised. For some reason, I figured it would be smaller. But you can see the details are, you know, relatively the same as far as the way everything kind of goes together. And I suppose you could probably modify this one to uh, use on here. But with Chewy on here, that probably throws the uh, balance off a little bit on here. But, you know, it's still not bad. So, yeah, I thought it was uh, looked pretty decent. And, uh, yeah, you can see how the chains... And the whole clear plastic is to help give the illusion of it floating around there. This base actually looks pretty good. Um, the way it, it, There's more to it than I thought. For some reason I was thinking it was going to be a more simple build. But it does have some good greebling going on there. 
and you can kind of see the little windows back in the back there and so there was one missing piece and I that's usually the case with some of these knockoff brands is you're gonna find there's a piece or two missing so the one piece that was missing is this piece way back so see these little cylinders right here the one back there is actually darker and that is because I had to replace that one it was missing uh, one of those little cylinder pieces down there and then that that supplemental section of the instructions uh, apparently the original version of this had these clear and they changed it to gray so uh, yeah I'm guessing I don't know I'm not sure what happened there but uh, yeah that was the only piece that was missing but other than that it still looks pretty decent so yeah I'm actually uh, I'm actually surprised at how good this was so yeah you can see how this kinda I mean you can just collapse the whole thing and then it's just a matter of balancing it so that it floats like that so yeah it's it's a really cool illusion I'm kinda surprised Lego doesn't make these ten segrity sets I mean you know especially the Star Wars line because they have the license for that kind of stuff so yeah and I've seen a lot of these kinds of sets you know pop up in uh, people's mocks so yeah I kinda think Lego might be kinda missing out on this market to make some ten segrity sets I could do all kinds of different versions of this and so anyway alright yeah um, this was a pretty decent uh, pretty decent set so I got this off Amazon it was uh, $19 I had a $1 coupon that was like one of those instant coupons that you can use when you're uh, checking out and so normally it's $20 so you know that's not bad I guess um, I don't know how many pieces are in this set but you know for uh, a knockoff brand I'd say <laughs> it's actually not bad I do kind of wish the detail on the back was a little better because uh, you know on this version you can see the nice blue pieces it would have been cool if they did that but oh well you know what can you say <laughs> for 20 bucks and a knockoff brand all right well anyway that is the review for this and uh, I hope you enjoyed it and if you did um, please like and subscribe and thank you very very much for watching I always appreciate that and I will see you on the next video so thanks again and have a good one